Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, you may have seen this video before. You may have seen it on Syndicate Sports Detroit, but it is Saturday, and it's the Saturday before the game. Not too much to talk about, but every year I do a how the Detroit Lions can make the playoffs. It, it is a little early for that. Week 11, the playoff machine drops week 11, but it's a little bit too early for that. Right now, there are so many scenarios of how the Detroit Lions can make the playoffs. And I did one where the Lions were 10-7, and seven and they made it as the 7th seed. But there's so many different variables that I'll wait a few weeks or so when, when the race gets a tad tighter because I think these next four weeks are going to make or break the Detroit Lions season in regards to playoffs. Now, before we get this thing started, I won't be disappointed if they don't make the playoffs. I'll be a little disappointed if they wind up 7-9 and nine or 7-10, and 10, I'm sorry, because I feel like they could have been 9-8 and eight without the two losses based on Dan Campbell's coaching decision. So that is what I had them at the end of the year in our before season predictions. So I will be a little, a little irritated about that, but that's I'll get over it. But I wanted to show you guys something about how important tomorrow's game is. Now, the next four games are important, and the Lions need to go a minimum of 2-2 two and two in the next four games. They play the New York Giants on the road. They come back home, and they, and they have three in a row. They play the Buffalo Bills on Thanksgiving. Then they play the Jacksonville Jaguars. And then they play the Minnesota Vikings in Week 14. And that will end their three-game homestand. And then they have one Week before last week of the season, they host the Chicago Bears in week 17, and that will be their last home game. Finish out at Green Bay. But if the Lions can go 2-2 two and two or better, go into middle of November, Jamison Williams comes back with a record of 5-8. and eight. At the very least, those last four games are going to be a big deal, right? So the Detroit Lions can make a push, and I want to show you what will happen if they win, potentially if they win, what will happen to the NFC playoff picture? So I got this blown up to 200% so you guys can see it. Right now, the Chiefs lead the NFC, and the NFC is all we really care about. Now if we go to the second seed, the Minnesota Vikings. The third seed is the Seattle Seahawks. The fourth seed is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Those are the division leaders. Now you go to the... 5th, 6th, and 7th seed. Right now, there are three NFC East teams that are making the playoffs, two NFC West teams, and one from the South, one from the North at this moment. The Giants are 5th seed. The 6th seed is the Dallas Cowboys. And the last seed is the San Francisco 49ers. Okay? Now, here's where it gets good. Right now, on the bubble, every team in the NFC, as well as AFC, at this moment is... Still in the hunt, I don't believe anybody's been eliminated, not even the Houston Texans. Let me blow, let me minimize this just a tad. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit better. Not so in your face. So we begin with the on the bubble teams. The Washington football team, I'm sorry, the Commanders. I was thinking Commanders and said football team is five and five. They upset the Philadelphia Eagles and they go in to play the Houston Texans, I believe. I believe that game is on the road. It doesn't matter. They probably will win that game. Now, we beat them in week two. Had they lost to the Philadelphia Eagles, right now they would be four and six. Okay? So you'll see what's going to happen. The Atlanta Falcons play the Chicago Bears. Ideally, we need a Texans win. We also need a Bears win. I'm not saying root for these teams. I'm saying if you prefer one over the other, pick the Bears to win that game. We need that to happen. So we need this team to drop to four and seven. We also need this team. That would be phenomenal if somehow they lost and they went to five and six. Now the Arizona Cardinals, this is a, this right here is something else because Kyler Murray, his hamstring is bothering him. Coincidentally, the same week that a new Call of Duty came, game came out. So there you go. But he will not be playing this week against the 49ers. I've got the Niners winning that game. Defense is just too much to handle. No Kyler Murray. And I think they win that game. So if you're following, we need a 4-7 and seven from the Falcons. Ideally, a 5-6 and six from the Washington football team. And we need 4-7 and seven from the Atlanta Falcons. Now, the Packers, they lost last night. 
but because they have more wins than us, they are number 11. We are number 12 at three and six. If just by beating the Giants, we move up from 12 to 11. Now here's where it gets delicious. It gets delicious here. And this is when the Kool-Aid starts to get spiked up a, just a wee bit. If the Arizona Cardinals lose that game, the Atlanta Falcons lose that game, and the Texans lose that game or win that game, we can't jump the Washington Commanders just yet. The Green Bay Packers lost on Thursday night. So if we win and these two teams lose, then I will blow it out, minimize it even further, back to the natural 100%, so you can see the bigger picture. Yesterday, or I should say Thursday night, before the game against the Titans, the Packers were the 10th seed, right? They, or they were either the 9th or 10th. It was, it was some, I want to say they were, I want to say they were the 9th. And because they lost, they fell from 9 to 11. We beat them, or right, we beat them a, t a couple weeks ago, So and we've played less games than them, right? If we win, we jump them. If these two, le two teams lose here, we jump them. And starting week 12, heading to host the Buffalo Bills, the highest we could get is the ninth seed. Had the Eagles beat the Washington football team and they were sitting at four and six instead of five and five, and we win, just by that win, without this team even playing, we would jump them, okay, and go to eight. And then if they lost, then they're, they're even further down. So if you're following along, would they win? We already got a Packers loss. With the Lions win, a Packers loss that happened Thursday night, a Falcons loss, and a Cardinals loss, the Detroit Lions can move up to the ninth seed entering week 12. Okay? That is a huge deal for a team that three weeks ago was one and six, was picking first in the draft, and was 16th in the NFC. To be one game out of the playoffs with seven games left is fantastic. Had we won one of those two games at least from Dan Campbell and his horrendous coaching decisions, then we would be in the playoffs. But just in my opinion, I think we're going to see a collapse from the Dallas Cowboys, a collapse from the Seahawks, and potentially a collapse from the Giants. And I think that the Giants' collapse can start as early as this Sunday against the Detroit Lions. All of this has to happen, of course, but more importantly, we have to handle our business and beat the New York Giants on Sunday. But that's why I don't want to give off, up hope, y'all, because there's still a lot of football left, and our team is not out of it yet. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you tomorrow for the live stream. Go Lions. Let's get to 4-6 and, and make the world take notice that we are coming.